So mindset doesn't contribute everything to work performance. There are other factors in terms of skill set. You have, can have a great mindset as a leader, but if you don't know how to lead a team, because you don't know the importance of listening and, and, cre and encouraging innovation and, cre and creating social relationships, even though you have a positive mindset overall, strong mindset, your team isn't going to function as well as it could. So mindset is important, uh, but we also know toxic organizations, as we talked about yesterday, can have a big impact on outcomes. But the missing piece in a lot of learning and development within organizations is that people don't, as I said yesterday, they, don't, they haven't had an opportunity to become aware, to unpack what this mindset is all about. So I've, I've put together some slides just to, uh, these are the slides I typically use in my training. Uh, if I'm talking to a group of salespeople, I never have this slide up, because salespeople and many people don't care about positive psychology. If I'm talking to a group of educators and, and psychologists and professionals, they want to know where, where it all comes from. So I, 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 even though I, a lot of it comes from the work of Albert Ellis, a lot of it comes elsewhere, as you'll now see. So um, what um, the field of positive organizational behavior and scholarship uh, has shown, as I just um, mentioned, was that there are certain indicators of high performance uh, or high performing organizations. And there are four types of capital or assets and resources that influence workplace performance. There's the economic capital of what you have, your finances and assets, your human capital, what your people know in terms of education experience, job skills and knowledge, social capital, who you know in terms of relationships, network of contacts, and then there's psychological capital that was first originated by Fred Luthens, uh, who you are as a person, and he identified five elements of psychological capital. And research shows that uh, psychological capital of the four is most contributing to high levels of work performance. And uh, when I ask people, what are you investing in, in your organization? Are you investing in psychological capital or mindset or skill set? How much do you know? I ask the question, how much do you know? when I talk to learning and development people and managers, how much do you know about mindset and skill set? They know very little about mindset. They invest very little about it, even though it's the most important thing to take people from good to great, A to A plus. 